Hello, hello, hello. It has been so long since I have spoken and seen all of you guys. I feel very excited. Look at me, I'm like oh, bouncing off the walls. Today's video, I just kind of wanted to give you all a little mini life update just to let you know where I've been. Also, as always, I feel like the primary goal of this channel is so that I have something to look back on so I know where I was at that point in my life. And if that helps somebody or entertains somebody else, then that's a win. But there have been so many things happening. This is the first time that I have had a second to chill and breathe in like the last two months months. Callum and I have moved flats. We have got married. We've done some traveling around Scotland. We've kind of like renovated the flat that we've moved into. I've started a new medication. There's so much going on, but I'm going to speak about each of those things. Or if you're happy with that as an update, then great. Cool. I'll see you next video. But for the first one, Callum and I moved flats. We had to do so much to the flat, starting with peeling off layers upon layers of a wallpaper, which we thought would take us like a day. It ended up taking us like five days. I don't know when the last time was that this wallpaper was updated or changed. We've painted every room. This room used to be purple, if you can believe it. Now it's white. You see the little sparkles there? The second thing was that Cal and I got married. It was our 10 year anniversary and we were looking for a special way to celebrate that. So we had a few friends and family fly over from all across the world, Australia, Hong Kong, LA. It was a really special day. We had all like the Highland Gorse, which is the yellow flowers. They were all out. It was beautiful. I feel so lucky and so loved. We had about 18 people at our wedding. At our wedding, we call it just like a celebration. Wedding sounded too formal for who we are as a couple. It was only about 18 of us, 19 of us, including the celebrant. And so we hiked up the, into the Pentlands in Edinburgh. So these beautiful like national parks, all the Highland cows were there. And then we had one of Callum's teammates sing a Scottish song, which was beautiful. And then he sang a couple of songs for us afterwards. We then went to go get lunch with everybody and then went for some drinks and stuff afterwards. Felt really, really lucky. I've also been sick throughout all of this. I think I've had like glandular fever or something, but I've had like a flu. You can kind of hear it in my voice. My throat is still sore. Maybe it was COVID, I don't know. But so throughout all of this, I've been kind of wiped, not really had the energy to deal with things. I did feel bad though, because for the week after, I was literally, I did not move from this couch. I was so sick and I felt really bad because so many people flew over to see us and spend time with us. And I know that I didn't necessarily get to spend as much time with them as I would have liked to. And I feel guilty for that. I, I don't know what else I could have done because I was wiped out with this flu. It was kind of like my body telling me a hard factory reset and I've just been slowly recovering from that. But I'd like to be able to get to the point where I'm able to listen to my body or rather listen to the limits that I have and that I know I have and not do things based on what I think other people will want. So respect my like own capacity and limits. For example, we had a friend staying with us and they were really good about saying that they needed quiet time and like going and separating themselves from the group and stuff like that. Whereas I typically would just stay with the group and then slowly like descend into crankiness or just overtiredness. And I think if I'm better at picking up, okay, now I've kind of hit a limit, then I think that would help. Obviously as a joke, but literally everybody has asked like the day after. They're like, so how's married life? And I'm like, ah, that's so funny. <laughs> Everybody has asked. And the answer is absolutely no different. And to be honest with you, I don't think I've really sat down and processed the fact that we've bought a flat, we've got married, we've done like these major life things, but because everything's been moving so fast, we haven't had like a second to breathe and be like, fuck, we did that. And throughout all of this again, Right before we got married, I started seeing a psychiatrist here in the UK because I am from Hong Kong originally. So that is where I had started the process of my diagnosis with my ADHD and being medicated for that. I've been able to see a psychiatrist here in the UK. And so we've been like transferring notes and things like that. And I've started a different medication since I've been here over the last month and it's been a weird time to try something out. So I'm hoping that over the next month when things are back into my normal routine, then I'll be able to actually see kind of side effects and things like that. I've started a higher dose of methamphetamine. It's called Zagatin and it's the 36 milligram one. I'm finding that it's making me like a little shaky. And I've noticed if I do too much in a day, then the crash afterwards is really, really big. So we went on like a little road trip and by 8 p.m. it was like, I might as well have been dead. It was so hard to keep my eyes open and to keep 
like the energy up. So those are the two major things that I've noticed, kind of that shakiness and just massive crash. I've also realized that I have a massive amount of lingering trauma in terms of, I don't want to, trauma feels really heavy, but then I think if I'm being honest, it is kind of heavy in that not knowing that I had ADHD for a really long time. And then I look back in hindsight at things that I was doing in my life. And I like having that explanation would have been so helpful and would have allowed me to be a bit gentler with myself. So for example, during my final exams, during my postgrad, my undergrad and high school, I would literally binge watch TV shows. And in my head the whole time I would be saying, you need to study, why aren't you studying? You're so lazy, you need to study, why aren't you studying? And it would just go like this the whole time. And I physically could not move. I'm like, I cannot move from where I am watching this TV show or doing nothing, laying in bed to go pick up a book or like switch tabs on my laptop and read something else. There is like a block. And I'm learning now that that was a part of like executive dysfunction, which comes with ADHD, which everybody has to some extent, but particularly people with ADHD. So I'm really thankful that I'm working with a psychiatrist now, or I have worked with psychiatrists that have been really open. They understand ADHD and they're like, yeah, it's fine that you got good grades, but it shouldn't necessarily have been that hard for you. So you shouldn't necessarily have had that whole internal monologue of you suck, you're so lazy, move, 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 move. And you shouldn't have had that massive amount of anxiety that I have and still have as a motivator to do those things. That would literally be the only reason that I would do anything is because my anxiety would get so bad. And so being on this new medication has meant that anxiety to do things is less because the medication helps me do things. Like washing up dishes is not something that would have happened before until the last possible moment when I would need dishes so I would have to wash them up. Whereas now on the medication, I'm like, oh, dishes, I'll wash them up. Like I'm able to discern and pick out that thought and be like, here. Another example is that I was doing yoga the other day. Honestly, I would not be doing yoga typically because I don't have the ability, or previously, I haven't had the ability to just sit with myself and do things where I'm very still. It's boring. I'm bored, I have to move. I can't turn off the racing thoughts in my head. And then yesterday I was doing yoga. It was just quiet. And I was able to focus on what the person was saying. It was very peaceful. I felt quite connected to myself, to my body. So even though it's a higher dose and I've got some like shakiness and some side effects, I, I think overall it's been really helpful. I've also started a bit of work for a rugby club here, uh, developing like a youth or physical literacy kind of document for them to help them with their youth athlete development and that makes me really excited. So I'm hoping that leads to something, but if it doesn't, oh well, I'm enjoying it. In the trying to be in the moment with it and we'll see where it goes but that's kind of been everything that's happened over the last couple of months so massive changes but this has been a wild two months and so tonight Calum and I are gonna sit down just have a chat <laughs> reflect on everything this is like the pre-reflection for the actual reflection and just kind of I don't want to say reconnect because it's not like we've been disconnected but it feels as though we literally haven't had a second to ourselves to just kind of like soak in it and to be honest I think I'm kind of bad at that to begin with. I have a really hard time sitting in my emotions and sitting in discomfort particularly, but I think that that extends to all kinds of emotion that I have. So if something goes well, I don't take the time to celebrate it. And if something goes badly, I'm instantly like, what can I change? It's never just, okay, this feels shit or this feels good. Let's just sit with it and be. That's like not a thing. So that's what I'm working on moving forward with all of this. And I am hoping to get back into the regular swing of things with posting videos. I'm gonna talk about a bunch of shit, to be honest with you. There's gonna be no genre, so if you subscribe, thank you. And welcome to this wild ride. I said I wasn't gonna talk for a long amount of time, but I have. But I just wanted to give you guys that as a little update, let you know what's been happening, and to thank you all so much for hanging around. Let me know what you guys have been up to. I feel like I haven't spoken to any of you in so long. I hope you all have an amazing week ahead. Okay, I better go, better go.